Guys, could you live in a 16 by 50 shed to house and be debt free in less than five years? Alright guys, so just a quick backstory on myself. My name is Jared Crocker. I live in the Dallas, Texas area, up in North Texas. My twin brother Jason, his wife Jaylena, and myself, we got this property back in the end of 2016, the beginning of 2017. My brother had a crazy idea to turn a shed into a house, people. I thought he was absolutely nuts. We went ahead and took the leap of faith, bought this Dirksen. It is a 16 by 50. It was just the shell of the building. It didn't have anything else on it. There was nothing on the inside, nothing on the outside. Everything else we have completely customized ourselves. I'm 34 years old. My goal in life is to be debt free by the time I'm 40. I am an amputee, as you can see in the opening clips. I am missing my left leg. I had a lawnmower accident when I was two. So part of my goal in life is be debt free and be able to live life as much as I can. All right guys, so as you can see behind me, this is the front porch that we added on. It is 50 feet wide this way, along with the building, because the building's 16 by 50. And then over here on the end, the porch comes out four feet, goes over, and it extends out another four feet. So in the middle, it extends out eight feet. All right, guys, so you can see behind me, we added in all the windows. This is my second bedroom. As we make our way this way, this is my kitchen window. I love this window. It faces out towards the front where I can see everything out in the front yard, my Texas pond, anybody that's coming up into the property, I can see them. Then of course, we got the nine light uh, door that came with the building. I ended up painting it red just because I thought it would pop. Then behind me over here, this is the living room section. This window I absolutely love. It opens up this way and it also opens up this way. I believe the window is a six foot wide by three foot tall, so it's pretty big windows. Make our way this way. This is my bedroom. I have a window on this side and then two windows on the east side of the house, which I'll show you guys here in a second. So one cool thing I like about this house is a lot of the stuff we got from Habitat for Humanity. We tried to save as much money as we could, obviously because it's a shed, people. I'm living in a shed and I'm trying to save money. Jason and Jelena got a great deal on these windows. $250 for every window that you're about to see in this video absolutely blows my mind these things were freaking brand new but i'm making my way over here to the side of my bedroom so this right here is just an accent piece i thought it'd be kind of cool just to add to the house we do have the ac unit over here there is holes like that in there so it allows a lot of airflow yes people are probably going to talk crap to me about that but you know what i've been living here for two and a half years and no issues so you can see my two windows here on the inside, my bed sits right here. So I have a nice large window on each side of my bed. I think that's pretty cool. And then just above me here, I have a motion sensor light. It is all solar. All my lights on the outside of the house are solar. If I don't have to use electricity, I don't want to. I would rather use the energy from the sun to be able to light up my yard at night. All right guys, so we're making our way around the back side of the house now. This is the back side of my bathroom. You can see here, I added in this piece right here. It's just extra wood that I had. I wanted to just make an accent piece on the back side of the house. You can see that I have a solar light above it. Making our way back over here. This is my back patio. It's a little messy, but you know what? I live in a shed. I'm not here on HGTV. This is YouTube. This is real life. It is what it is. But I have another big window here. This one is also a six foot wide by three foot tall. This one does not open. It's one of the few that does not open, but it gives me plenty of views out here i can see the barn animals everything i want to see out here lights up the living room it's awesome had this back patio we built it was about fifteen hundred dollars that we spent on it let me uh take you around over here this window is one of my favorites this is the back side of the kitchen it also has a perfect view of the backyard this one actually cranks out i'll show you here in a second when i go inside but it actually cranks out the plan is to build a table underneath it that we have barbecues or whatever. 
I can have people over. You can just hand food out the large window. Easy peasy. I do have a jacuzzi back here. It's just one of those inflatable ones. I bought it, uh, I believe it was off uh, Walmart online. $350, you know what? I've had it for a few months now and I absolutely love it. Right there is the AC unit. Yes, there are boards around it. It's meant to cover it up. It does allow enough airflow on there, so don't worry about that. I just made a cheap little staircase here and I did not want to go with the traditional back patio, so I added in a bunch of pea gravel down here. I like the whole rustic feel. There's a crushed Norris for all my, uh, my beers that I drink. Just a nice little fire pit area back here just to enjoy the sunset. All right, so we're making my way around the backside of bedroom number two. I have a little greenhouse. That'll come in handy here in a few months whenever it starts to get cold here in Texas. Above it, you can see that there is a motion sensor light. And I'm making my way around the second bedroom on the side of the house. This wall is pretty bare. It doesn't have much on it. It just has another uh, solar light up there, some uh, plants down here, and we made our way back around the other side of the front porch. All right, guys, let's make our way inside. All right, so you walk in, you instantly see the big TV fireplace going. This is a huge open concept area. It's the living room and the kitchen area. I wanted the open concept just because it's a, it's a smaller building, so you wanna have it as open as possible as you can. And this section in here is 26 by 16. All right guys, so I get asked all the time in our old videos that we posted, why didn't you put an oven in the kitchen? How do you live without an oven? I tell you what, I've been here two and a half years. I don't need a big oven. Check this out. I have a little toaster oven. That is all I need. I'm a single guy, been living here for two and a half years. It cooks everything. I've made barbecue, rotisserie chicken, pizza, cakes, anything you can think of, I've cooked it in that. I have a big convection microwave, cooks everything I need, full-size refrigerator, and then I love these counters. Jason made these counters. They're all customized. I think we ended up spending like $80 to make all the counters along with the counter here in the kitchen on the island. I think it's pretty awesome because you go to Home Depot, Lowe's, what other hardware store, and you're gonna be spending tons and tons and tons of money to make a customized counter like this. So up there on that wall, that's the kitchen wall, I put up faux brick. I got this from Home Depot. It was like $25 a sheet. It looks pretty realistic to me. Uh, I went to Home Depot, picked up four sheets. Let me keep backing up as I talk. So it cost a uh, total of about $100 to do this entire wall. I put them up there, it was that red brick color. I went over and plastered it and then painted it white to give it that nice farmhouse look. Then just built these customized shelves, just floating shelves, easy peasy. Didn't take but 10 minutes to make these and mount them. All right, now we're working our way to the living room. I did have another couch over here. I actually just got rid of it this week. It was a, another couch just like this one. It was just a little too crowded for me, so I wanted to open up the living room. My plan is to get rid of this couch as well, buy a sectional here where it sits right in front of the TV. Had a lot of people complaining before, your TV's too high. Well. Sorry guys, it's my house and it's not too high for me. If you guys are wondering about electricity here, my highest electric bill has been about 120. I run the AC constant during the summertime. When you live in Texas, it gets 105, 110 sometimes. Crank that AC up, living at a small place definitely allows me to save money on that. I do have an AC unit over here, one in my other bedroom, and then in the second bedroom, I don't have one in there yet, but I will soon. Keeps this place ice cold. I bought this fireplace off of Amazon. It was $450. I believe it's 42 inches wide. It changes all different colors. It puts off heat. It warms the, the living room area pretty well during the winter time. I might have to have a space heater here and there, but for the most part, I would definitely recommend getting that for your place. Same thing with this wall over here. We did the faux brick, went over it with plaster and painted it. And then Jason built this uh, mantle right here. He customized it beat it with chain, stained it so it looks all rustic. I think it's pretty awesome. Just to give you an idea, this is a 65 inch flat screen TV, so it's a pretty big fireplace. It goes all the way to the ceiling, which the ceiling up here is about 10 foot high. And then you make your way up here 
and it goes up to 12 feet in the middle where the uh, where that fan is. We added in beams on both sides just to continue with the whole rustic feel. And then added in cedar planks up there on the uh, dormer. Speaking of the dormer, it was an additional $1,100 to add it. This dormer is, uh, I believe, 11 feet wide. But you know what? I think it's worth every penny because it makes this room feel huge. I wanted this to be a just a smooth transition as soon as you're coming in the house. So you walk in the front door back behind the camera and you walk straight out the back door. So that's a pretty cool way to just get through the house really quick if you need to. Um, let's make our way over here to my bedroom now. This bedroom is 12 feet by 10 feet along with the six foot by 12 foot bathroom. So let's head on over and check it out. All right, so we can start out with this door. It's a customized farm door. Jason and I built this for a total cost of $50. Check out the crockers. I'll leave a link in the description below. That's what we started doing all the shed to house building on. So go back and check out the playlist over there. Give them a view and a thumbs up. So we're walking into my bedroom. It's pretty big. It's a, a 12 by 10. The ceiling goes up to 10 feet in the middle. Got a nice size fan. As I mentioned earlier, I have windows on each side of my bed. This is a queen size bed, just to give you an idea of the size. I have enough room for a side table. And then I have these pretty cool customized barn doors that Jason made. Uh, the gap here to the bathroom is four feet wide. So each of these doors are two feet and it just slides shut. It's pretty cool. You make your way this way. It's just a cheap little setup from Walmart. Just keep closing. I have a space heater here. A 55 inch flat screen TV just to give you an idea of that wall and then I have up here smoke detectors I have one in each room. I Highly recommend getting smoke detectors All right, so we're making our way into the bathroom. This is another one of my favorites. I Wanted a stand-up shower with a glass door So we got the glass door from Home Depot for roughly 500 we put in all the tile ourselves did all the plumbing It's pretty awesome There was a weird little gap here, so I went to Walmart, bought these little cheap shelves, painted them a mossy oak green because that's the color of all my other shelves. That fits perfect in this gap. I could put knickknacks and clothes and whatnot. And then over here on the counter, I have extra towels for when guests come over, have all the plumbing underneath the sink. Everything here is custom built by ourselves. I love this farm sink. It just sits on top of the uh, counter. It's got the nice faucet and everything. Got this mirror right here. You can always check out that nice looking dude right there. What's up guy? Then we have these uh, lights up here. I think it's cool. Uh, just puts off plenty of light and just looks cool to myself. Just a simple towel rack holder over here. And then the throne. This is where the king makes business happen over here. We did add in cedar for uh, accent walls over here and up here. I absolutely love it. We had the faux shiplap all around but this kind of breaks everything up. This uh, nice big shelf here, it's pretty cool. It uh, can hold knickknacks, toilet paper, towels, whatever you want to do with it. So you're probably thinking, all right, so he has that over there for his clothes. Where does he, where's his closet at? Where does he put all the rest of his clothes? Let me show you something. I thought this was a pretty cool idea. Save space and it's also unique. So this little shelf back there that I showed you isn't just a shelf, it's also my closet door. Check this out. This bad boy slides right open. How cool is that? Let me flip you guys around real quick. And then when you're done picking out all your clothes, just slide it on over. Hidden closet, people. How cool is that? So I do have wooden floors throughout the entire house. I'm gonna go ahead and take you over here to the second bedroom. It is not done, but it's still a work in progress. I live here by myself, so I'm not too worried about this room. But in this room, I did an accent wall full of cedar. We have this gigantic window over here. This one's also about six foot by three foot. And then make your way around this way. Just, uh, it's my office slash second bedroom. So I got a bunch of fishing stuff, some horns and whatnot. Got some, uh, some of my guns and fishing rods over there. Back there is gonna be the second uh, bathroom. It's gonna be set up almost the exact same way as the other side of the house. But as you can see, see it's still got the four foot gap here. I'm not gonna show you inside there because I'm using it for storage right now, but you guys get the idea. Overall guys, what do you think? Not bad for a single amputee guy from Texas. I'm just living life, 
trying to be as happy as I can, try to be debt free as soon as I can. Like I mentioned earlier, the building is on a five year plan. I'm two and a half years in, so two and a half years, by the time I'm 37, I'll be debt free. How crazy is that? I'll be able to travel, do whatever I want. If I wanna build more to the house, maybe get another shed, convert that into a house. I don't know guys, the possibilities are endless. I couldn't do this without my twin brother Jason and his wife Jaylena. They are now living in South Texas at our family ranch, so the property is going to be mine now. This house is, is mine, so 16 by 50, that is 800 square foot. Some people are saying that's way too small, a lot of people are saying I don't need it that big. But you know what guys, this is my house, this is what I wanted, it's completely customized the way I wanted it, and I couldn't be happier. I hope you enjoyed today's Shed to House video. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the uh, notification bell so you know when I'm posting videos. Go back and watch some of the old videos. You'll get to see my personality. You'll get to meet Jason and Jaylena. Check out the Crockers. That's the original channel. We started that one about a little over, or almost a year ago. We did all the, uh, the building and stuff in there. You can see the playlist and everything. So hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.